All right, looks like we are live. Cool. How's everybody doing today? So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I've organized my personal workspace in Notion. And this video is coming after a request from a subscriber just to kind of explain the reasoning behind how I have it organized. So I'm gonna take maybe 10, 15 minutes, we'll see, just to kind of walk you through how I have it set up, where I put things, why I put things there. Uh, so maybe it'll help you organizing yours or might just give you a point of reference for when you're setting up your workspace. So I'm just gonna kind of start from the top here, move down, kind of work my way into these different, I guess, folders or tabs, whatever you wanna call them. So the first one I have is my inbox. So the way that I have it set up is I've got this inbox, which is just an empty page with a bullet list. And this is where I throw things in that are not organized. So for example, if there's something that I want to remind myself to do and create a task later, I'll throw it in here. If somebody tells me about something, I'll throw it in here. If somebody gives me an article. So it's just kind of a dumping ground for things that are not organized. And then later when you have time, you can go in and organize them. So I have the Notion app on my phone. So it's very easy to uh, easily accessible um, so I've just got some random things here and sometimes they'll sit for a week or whatever I don't have any sort of process for when I will move these out of the inbox so that's my first page or first space the next one is tasks so this is similar to Trello if you've used that where you've got the the swim lanes um, and so this, this is where I spend most of my time in Notion, just kind of organizing the things that I need to do. And I've tried organizing it by days, you know, where I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That didn't work out very well just because, you know, I'd say, oh, I'm going to do this on Monday and then I don't get to it. And then I would say, okay, I'm going to do it on Tuesday and I don't get to it. And so this is more of, um, you know, what I'll do is I've got things that I want to do in here in no status. Right. So these are things that I'm like, OK, like, you know, um, I'm going to Twilio's Signal conference next week. Um, you know, I have some notes in there of some people I want to talk to. But obviously, I'm not going to start that until I get to the conference. So I've just kind of got this in this no status. And then not started is things that I've maybe fleshed out a little bit more. Um, or maybe I've added some notes to them, some tasks. Or maybe there's a due date. So things that I know, okay, this is a thing I want to get done by this day, or I know that it's fleshed out a little bit and I know how I'm going to accomplish it. And then in progress are things that I'm working on today or right now. So for example, make a video about organizing Notion. So, and then I've got these labels here. Um, so each task has a date, a description, a status, and a label. So date is obviously when I want to do it by, with this, I wanted to do it this weekend, but I don't have a set date, so I leave that blank. Description, any notes, status, so this is the swim lanes or the columns you saw earlier, and then label. So I use these two. Um, I use this workspace for work and personal life, so I've got a label for work, um, like freelance stuff, and then one for my company, uh, Digital Airstrike, so I've got that in there as well. And then anything else, so personal stuff, if, if it's coding, if it's YouTube, if it's an egghead video or financial, like bills. So that's how I use labels. And then completed is obviously, once I'm done with it, I'll move it over, right? So very similar to Trello or, or Asana, uh, the Kanban style. And you can look at this in different views. I have the calendar view, but I don't use due dates a lot, so I don't look at that very often. Then the next one I have is projects. Um, so these are, I guess, bigger tasks that I'm working on. So for example, right now I'm trying to complete a course on edX called Intro to Computer Science and Programming using Python. And this is just a place for me to keep track of those bigger projects that I'm not gonna be able to do in a weekend or a week or maybe even a month. And so this is just kind of to help me stay motivated and keep going and just to be able to see, okay, like. You know, look how much progress I've made so far. I've done week one, week two, week three. Okay, you know, next is to finish part eight of week four. Um, and then other things like last month, I was trying to 
just be more mindful of the money I was spending and see if I could save more money. So, you know, I set up a spreadsheet and was just tracking, keeping track of um, the stuff that I was spending. Uh oh, one sec, let's pause that. Okay. So yeah, so that's projects. So you can kind of see, so these are kind of the main three and this is for task management or process management. And then these next two are really for organizing information. So I'm gonna toggle these so you can see the drop dropdown. Um, but this is, I, I came from Workflowy. So if you're familiar with Workflowy, it's basically a, a bulleted list on steroids just for organizing information. And so I tried to take the same style I was using there and use that in Notion. So I kind of broke things up into two categories, personal and work. So personal is anything obviously related to my life, not related to work. Work is anything like my salary job or any freelance work um, or projects that I get paid for or organizations I'm a part of. So those are things that I consider work. So I'm in my personal, and I'm always adding to this, but right now these are the main pages that I have. So I've got my goals for the year. I've got budget. This is um, just to be mindful of my spending habits and adding to things if I sign up for a new service or feature. Um, anything related to the home. And I'll click into these so you can kind of see. So, uh, you know, I got my goals here. Um, this helps me keep track of what I want to accomplish in the year of 2018. And then I add them as I go. Um, budget, so another spreadsheet, what I'm spending per month, things like that. Um, home, I was doing some research on where I'm going to live with my future wife in May after I get married. Health, um, so writing some reflection articles I like to write. Hygiene, um, a friend of mine gave me a face wash recipe. So you can see I, ca I like to nest things. I like things to be organized. So they're um, just easier to find in my opinion. So yeah, so that's some of my personal stuff. Um, and then the other thing that I was using Workflowy for was keeping track of things. So for example, if we go to coding, I've got resources. So when somebody says, oh, here's a great article, or actually, sorry, here's a great website for learning about Python. Um, you know, like, for example, somebody gave me a link to a Python and JS comparison cheat sheet. So I added that in here. Testing. Uh, I don't have anything in there yet. Uh, screencasting. So just kind of like, a list and then some notes I have and then maybe a link. So this is kind of for links. Uh, conferences coming up. So when I was taking notes on ByteConf, which was in August, I think it was August 31st, if I remember. So some notes from some of the, the lectures and talks that I heard. And then tutorials reading list. I started this because on Twitter, I'm always seeing great tutorials, articles, YouTube videos. And so I put together this somewhat comprehensive list of, so I've got the name, whether I've read it, watched it, et cetera, a link, and then tags. So React, TypeScript, debugging, et cetera. The date I added it, the type, and you can see I've added some of these and haven't added a type, which I need to do. But this is cool if, if I'm feeling like I wanna pick up a new skill or, or read an article and I have some free time on the weekend, I'll go in here and pick one of these. And then YouTube, so sometimes when I'm making videos, I'll create an outline, um, you know, just kind of like a bullet list. Helps me stay organized. So there's that. If we go back to coding, I think that's mainly it. And then languages, so I'm a big fan of learning languages, so I wanted to keep some resources here. Notes, um, things related to secret projects, etc reading list. So I like to read. One of my goals is to read 10 books this year. And so I've got this ongoing list of when someone recommends a book, I'll add it in here. So kind of same. I've got tags, authors, date, who recommended it, whether I've read it or not. So I've got a lot of books to read or that I want to read. So yeah, so that's personal. Uh, work I can show you a little bit. Obviously, because of confidentiality, I can't show a lot about my salary job, but some of the other stuff I do. So freelance work, um, mentorship. I started a small mentorship program, Namchuk. Uh, so 
just notes about video calls I've done for this company, um, putting together workshops, prepping for things. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I got. That's that's basically it. Um, you know, I, like I said, I have one workspace which I've just called Joe, which has my personal and my work stuff, and I do that because I pay for one, and so I have the ability to create as many blocks as I want. And so rather than having a work one and a, a personal one and then paying for both, I'd rather just keep it all in one. So yeah, so that's my Notion workspace, and hopefully that was helpful to you. I'd love to hear about how you have yours organized, or if there is anything you liked or anything, maybe questions you have, feel free to add those in the comments below. And thanks for watching.